This is Noel. I am now recording. I've got this little box. I'm not sure how to get rid of it. I'm working with Fusion 360 here and I'm running into a couple of problems. One, uh, this is a sketch that I've got and I've used a couple different fonts trying to get good clear. Uh, what I've done is a trace and I can bring up the tool and I can use the simulator to simulate the tool function. Now I want you to look at this right here. This value right here is not going below zero so it would essentially stay at the top of the material. I also want to show you my bit which I made from the tool diagram. Let me go to I have to close this out. Then I can go to edit the tool. And I went to here and I think if I click here and slide down I can edit tool. <clears throat> well the tool I'm using is an eighth inch tapered tool. It's extremely small and it really doesn't have a distinct number of flutes and it probably isn't a bull nose uh, it probably is a bull nose <laughs> um, I'm using a tapered mill perhaps there's a better mill for me to use but I haven't really found it Of the ones that I see here, the tapered mill seems to be the best one. So I'll go back to Fusion 360 and I'll show you my problem. So let's say I want to do to get out of this here. All right, I want to do an engrave. There's really not much information on how to do a graze. The previous one I did was a trace. And notice my little windows aren't coming up here. But I want to do an engrave. They flash up for a while, but I can't seem to get them to stay long enough for me to read them. So I'll try the engrave. And I'll pick this as my subject matter. My tool is going to be this new 15 degree tapered 8th inch. And I'm not sure here, but I'm I'm thinking I did better. Um, the heights have me confused. I'm not sure what this number is here. To me, I'd kind of do a bottom height from uh, model top. And I really only want to go down a tenth of an inch. Let's see, minus 0.1 inch. And passes. Say, okay, and this is, this is what I get, and this is the whole subject of my video. 
the toolpath is not supported for the given tool and settings, you likely need to change your tool. So the whole point of this video is, well, what tool should I start with? If I want to do engraving, simply because I want to use a small amount of chips, a small area to work with, so they're not, I'm not practicing on a large sheet of material. Engraving seems to be the way to go. However, not making much progress there. So I'm canceling out of this and I'll get rid of this engraving. I'll just hit cancel and I'll just get rid of this one. Whoop. But I do have this one I can try but I, I really can't it's not going anywhere it's not going to dig into the material unless I adjust the Z height and I've learned that that's really not a good thing to do I'll zoom in on it here and you can see how it works it seems to follow the letter just fine and I'd like to try this but I don't really have anything um, I can do that with other than uh, programming the Z height. That's it for now.